Hello Theme Park Wizard and today is the day. Today is the day I go back to Universal Studios Hollywood for the Taste of Universal. I'll be there later on this evening and might do a live stream so check that out. But no matter what I'll be doing a video. But yesterday Universal dropped the first looks at the new Minion Cafe which was under construction before the park closed and it was just about finished. Now it's completely finished and looks great. Look at this. This is at night time. They have a whole bunch of outdoor seating. And some nice umbrellas. Looks absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to check this out later on this afternoon. But um, they have a whole new food menu, menu as well, which we'll go over a little later on in this video. This used to be, I think, themed to Gru. It's, um, on, yeah, it's on the side of the Despicable Me attraction. I think, I'm not sure if that illumination sign up there is new as well. Um, I'm not sure. Someone comment below. And, let me know if you think that's new or if that's that's always been there. But yes, look, uh, looks really nice. They have the little little red carpet right there. Um, it's the yellow chairs, very festive, very colorful, very themed. They even have a little blade sign with it. It's minion with a whole bunch of minions stacked on there. And I'm sure it looks fantastic at nighttime as well. So that's really awesome. I can't wait to check this out. And there is even some green. We got some some planters on each side of the small building so that is awesome and um, again yet another great new addition to Universal Studios Hollywood now let's talk about some of the food here they're gonna have at the Minion Cafe so first gonna have a classic grilled cheese and this classic grilled cheese comes with some fries and looks like maybe some coffee or tea some kind of beverages there and it's, it's just a simple grilled cheese. Looks good though. And there's a it has a melty blend of sharp cheddar and Mexican Mexican cheeses, cheeses between two pieces of warm sourdough bread with a side of marinara. That's what that is for dipping in crinkle cut fries. As the official description, there's a meatball parmesan grilled cheese. Is the classic grilled cheese, but with some juicy meatballs added to the mix, and has the same crinkle, uh, crinkle cut fries and marinara, marinara dipping sauce that you see in the uh, or that the the other one has. Then there's the pulled pork grilled cheese. Now I'm not the biggest grilled cheese fan, but I really like pulled pork, so this might be interesting for me. And this pulled pork grilled cheese features a savory pulled pork and caramelized onions plus a banana barbecue sauce for dipping. That's interesting. Um, but this grooved rotisserie chicken looks like the best for me. And this half barbecue rotisserie chicken comes with a side of crinkle cut fries and a buttery corn on the cob. <laughs> looks fantastic. I'll definitely have to try that. Uh, maybe even tonight as well. Because that looks really good. There's also some El Mato El Macho Nachos with Chicken, which is a spicy chicken tinga served in a tortilla bowl topped with white queso, guacamole, jalapenos, pico de gallo, sour cream, and cilantro. And this is pretty big. I don't know. That's it's still pretty, pretty decent, but this, the Spica Bowl Ramen looks pretty, pretty decent size here. And it's a warm noodle bowl and includes roasted pork, uh, pork broth, marinated egg. <laughs> Black garlic oil, green onions, and sesame seeds. There's the chicken Caesar salad, which is just a chicken Caesar salad. It has a refreshing, refreshing blend of romaine lettuce, parmesan cheese, and juicy, juicy chicken breast marinated in garlic rosemary. And then for everyone's favorite part, the desserts. The mini cafe will have a share of sweets too. The unicorn cupcake, which is white cake with buttercorn, buttercream rainbow frosting. Fell, fell on. Felonesius float, can't pronounce that word. Which is a raspberry slush beverage swirled with banana frozen yogurt, topped with whipped cream and banana candy. Then there's the chocolate banana pudding. It has hazelnut spread, cocoa butter, and vanilla wafer cookies, sugar cookies, and sweet and a sweet fruit cup. No prices have yet to be announced, but I'll be again checking those later when I'll be at the Minion Cafe. Uh, maybe eating that rotisserie chicken. But what do you guys think about these this new cafe that was supposed to open probably last year, um, but when the parks closed, I'm about to see it open now with this event. As the Universal transitions to a full park, we open 
opening. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up button and subscribe for more theme park updates, including the Taste of Universal event, which I'll have videos on all weekend long. And as always, have a fantastic day.